Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at space weather with an updated forecast for the coming days. We'll be checking out an earthquake, a shot of Comet Atlas, more evidence that they don't know Nova, and the impact of solar protons on earthquakes. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where solar flaring was absent, eruptive behavior stayed off the map, the corona hole continues marching across the disk, and is in a central position this morning. You may recall we have been expecting a slow-moving CME from about three or four days ago due to hit last night or today. There are some small signatures in the solar wind from yesterday evening. Overall, the chart doesn't look like much, just a slight tip south of the BZ and amplified plasma pressure. The KP index came up a bit off the floor, but never hit storm status. Even though we do see those smoother curves on the magnetometer, getting jittery the latter several hours on the right. It's possible it hit and was extremely weak or may still be on its way. We are going to be watching the solar wind for it, not only for that impact, but in the days ahead as the corona hole stream should be arriving as we head towards the weekend. Those filaments astride of it have stayed stable, but we are watching those too. Top quake of the last day struck Papua New Guinea, 6.6 .6, but deep. For a region that is used to big quakes, getting one this deep, even at a significant magnitude, means they've handled it pretty well. Folks, that fuzzy white moving object is Comet Atlas, and it's from ExoMars. Looks pretty normal to me. It is too grainy to see the longer tail, but the coma and egg shape to it are easily recognizable. The other Mars missions will be trickling in their shots over the coming days. All the Atlas mystery is expected to be gone here soon. Terrific twin studies up next by Bradley Schaefer. He's a demigod in Nova Astronomy, and lately he's been in agreement with me that the field has no idea what it's doing. Two papers here saying that major declarations about stellar nova events cannot be possible, and he used two specific stars for these papers to demonstrate why. Three cheers for the continued clown show that is nova astronomy. Lastly here folks, the Cataldi team in Strasser, highly prolific in the field of solar forcing of earthquakes. These professors actually cited my solar earthquake paper last decade, and here they're back again driving deeper on their main topic, the impact of solar proton storms on the geomagnetic field and how it directly injects energy into quake-ready crustal regions. I hope you all recall how electromagnetism impacts water, metals, and piezoelectric crystals. That yank applies tremendously in these solar proton events. Folks, the winter tour is set. Five cities, one a month, starting at the end of November. Ticket page is linked below. All the tickets are on that same page. Select the one you want, and then scroll down to finish. Also, folks, we are coming around the corner toward our last events of the year at Observer Ranch. This weekend is the Colorado Prepper Expo. I speak at 1 o'clock on Saturday. Come out to the show. Just a short drive away from where we're going to be located at the ranch, and I can tell you we do have room for you this weekend if you are looking for a place to to stay. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.